Good afternoon, everyone. We are back here at EC's favorite place, the south gate, south, the south exit of the Pearl Station. <laughs> uh, the weather, as you can see, is clear, and the temperature is 11 degrees. And just like yesterday, but don't let that fool you. It's pretty cold out here. The wind is really cold. Uh, and today, uh, as you can see, that's the uh, Pia Dome, uh, EC here. And today, we're going to take a look at two internet cafes within one block of the Sapporo South exit area. Um, and we're going to take a look at them, but we can't actually film inside just due to the... Um, because it's a really busy time, so uh, we couldn't get the inside film, but we got some really good information from the staff. And I will post it below or I will upload a picture if possible. But internet cafes uh, in Japan is an experience you should try when you get here. And uh, for some people who have their, their, their late night um, adventures and they miss their train, staying at an internet cafe uh, is actually cheaper than going to your ho uh, go renting out a hotel. Uh, it's not as cozy as a hotel, but it's it's you know you can stay there till what, until the first trains go and catch the first train and head back. So uh, internet cafes, uh, it goes by many names like the cyber cafes is, is one of them, and in other countries, it's just they have a whole diff they have a whole lot of names. Um, but the internet cafes in Japan. They have showers, they have all you can drink, uh, and the prices are very reasonable. The longer you stay, the better the rates are going. So we're going to take a look at two that are near the Pearl Station. Alright everyone, as you can see from the Sapporo Station number 5 exit, uh, very just outside of the south gate as you can see there on the camera, uh, we come across this red sign called Next GU Kukan Space Create. And this internet cafe uh, they have like separate rooms, like very private rooms. They have comic book areas, they have darts, they have showers. They're open 24 7. Uh, 24 /7. They're open 24 hours a day. And it's located at the TJ Sapporo Ekimai building. And it occupies three spaces. And what's unique about this place is that the registration or when you go in is all automated so you get your membership card you scan it and the even the payment is done automatically so uh, it's a very different experience um, like I said it's three floors and they have a lot of things to do so if you do uh, have time check this place out all right, everyone, as you're walking from Sapporo Station, come across this green sign, Internet Cafe. And the actual name is iCafe, which is open 24 hours. And it's just like the other um, Internet Cafes around Sapporo Station. Uh, but this one, we ha if you're a student with your student ID, you get 20% off your um, purchase or purchase your, your internet fees. So this place here, I Cafe, uh, they they offer um, soft drinks. Um, it's very quiet inside, uh, and you can well in the current situation, you can uh, have like offline meetings and of course online meetings. And um, the booths are very private or they fit up to three people at this place. And as you can see here, this cafe is part of the go to travel campaign which is aimed at um, promoting tourism during this time of the current situation. Actually everyone, I'm not sure if you can hear this but the crosswalks in Japan have this little... There we go. And if you heard that, it actually provides support for the hearing... Well, hearing... The... the there we go. They, they have audio... Um, audio notifications of the color of the um, crosswalk. So that one just turned red and let's turn left here going in this direction and the stop walk, the, the walkways 
See right now it's red. It'll turn green soon. And it has an audio cue to let you know. There we go. Do you hear that? So again, this is something that um, I think Japanese people just see it as an everyday thing. And for foreigners coming here, they're like, oh, what's that sound? What does that mean? It means you can cross the crosswalk. And of course, uh, even if you close your eyes, you can tell which direction it is in. And it gives audio clues. So it's for the, the seeing impaired and, and for people who, you know, have uh, little disabilities. So very interesting stuff there.